I hate doing the dishes so much that I literally bribe him. What did I tell you? I got a coffee and croissant on the way tomorrow because she I hate doing the dishes. I was like, if you do them all, I'll buy you a latte. Don't forget the croissant. Good morning, everybody. So I just finished Cycle Bar, and I have this whole plan of going to Cycle Bar and then Temple after, but it's 10.30, and I'm so hungry, I had to stop. And this place, it's called Grace's Marketplace. It's like a really expensive little grocery store, but they have like breakfast sandwiches and coffee and stuff. It's actually really cheap. So I got this little breakfast sandwich, but Anything in your kitty for three dollars is a steal. So it's just a little English muffin with a sandwich. And then I always see people drink this harmless, yeah, harmless harvest coconut water. So I want to try. I got just like a little mini one because coconut water usually is kind of nasty. But apparently this one's really good. And I don't know why it's like pink. Because if you look at the ingredients, it's literally just coconut. So it's all coconut water pink and I just haven't looked at it because normally it comes in that little carton. But I feel like it's cool. Actually, that's a lie. When I pour it into my smoothies, it's clear. So cheers to Saturday morning. Hmm. This kind is actually good. Yeah, just organic coconut water from Thailand. that you have to take a bus because if you have to take the class and then a bus and then go to the gym it's a good way you know it's like a 20 minute walk keeps my keeps my cardio flow going through the class because basically let's break it down so as you can probably tell i became obsessed with cycle bar but i was not seeing like i was feeling good and seeing some fitness results but not as many as i ooh, i just banged my phone on the table but not as many as I was hoping to see. So I splurged this month and I got my temple, I unfroze my temple membership. I'm like, my brain is foggy. I'm like not even talking straight. Ugh. I'm gonna watch this back while I'm editing and like spit it out. Anyway, I decided to get, unfreeze my temple membership and do temple and cycle bar. To incorporate more upper body and weights and things like that and not just high intensity cycle and so far i've noticed a big difference and then another thing i've noticed a difference of is this thing called oxy shred which i'll talk about that later it's like some supplement i take before i work out and i don't really know about all that type of stuff but christian does a lot of research and so if he would drink it i feel safe drinking it because he does a lot of research and is smart about that and he's very very healthy so that's that and now like i said i'm just gonna sit here eat my little breakfast and then be on my merry way to do some upper body i just finished my workout got all ready for the day, even blew out my hair at the gym. I used to buy um, those big brushes, but honestly, just a blow dryer and a roller brush works, roller brush works fine, so I've been loving the blowout look lately. And now, I'm not going to 
a ah, coffee shop to do some editing because I'm really good at the vlogging part, really bad at the editing part. So, time blocking some day today to edit some bits for you guys. I know my parents will be happy. I took my sunglasses off, but actually, I really do need them on. It's so sunny out. I'm so happy too because the weather today is really nice and sunny, but also so pretty cool that I even packed a sweatshirt. So it's like, ah, fall is coming. I already had two pumpkin coffees. So when you love fall, that's what you do. <laughs> that made no sense. I basically am just a pumpkin fanatic. So the second I knew it came out, I had to get I packed stuff at the gym, so I showered, changed my clothes from one workout outfit to the next. Go dry my hair. And I've been loving this new Lululemon bag. I bought a bunch of stuff from Lululemon, so I need to do like a haul. I think I was gonna do it on my last video, so I don't know, I'm so freaking behind and now I'm just rambling. But I'm just walking to the coffee shop. This is one of my favorite ones because it's a coffee shop in Flores together. It's so cute. I vlogged there before, but I'm going to do it again because it's so cute. We got the whole setup. Just to follow up, I did get his latte and croissant. Are you happy? Yep. <laughs> we got the... That was loud. We got the whole setup. Lunch. More coconut water. We got a rose latte. So did he. He's a girl. <laughs> did you hear me? Hmm? I said, I got a rose latte. And so did he. Because he's a girl. And a croissant. He just keeps coming with the smells. I go, I'm full. He goes, no, no. This is really good. When I was walking home the other day, I stumbled by this little hidden, I would say a hidden oasis. It's fire. You see that? You see the waterfall? We're not in Niagara Falls. This is okay, have you ever seen Niagara City. Falls? What do you mean? I went to school in Buffalo. Yeah. You said you never went. No, I went to Niagara Falls. I didn't it's cross not... over into Canada. Okay, okay. I was going to say, this waterfall is way smaller. Yeah. But I didn't know where it was because I walked home from Grand Central. So we found this on a map. And here we are. I got some kiwi lemonade. We got some mango lemonade. And we're just enjoying... Oops, I don't want to get people in it, but it's kind of hard not to. We're just enjoying some nature. It's much later now. It's what, 8 p.m.? Mm -hmm. And we're about to make dinner. We only got a few things. Clearly, I'm addicted to coconut water. This tastes just like Harmless Harvest. Lemons and limes, which are always needed. And then we're making this fun salad where it's arugula base with balsamic chicken, nectarines, or peaches, but I like nectarines better. I'm gonna put corn in it and then balsamic glaze, goat cheese. Do you see what we're going for? I feel like mint would be good in it. Like just a fresh balsamic summer salad. I'm gonna put spicy honey on the peaches so they have like some sweet and spicy. Doesn't that sound good? And then we just got this cause we love olive loaf from this bakery near me. And so we saw it and we're gonna cut this up and have it as a side. So just a quick little haul. I'm gonna go again tomorrow when I have an actual plan of what I wanna make this week. I don't like going and just sporadically buying stuff because then it always goes bad and I don't know what to do for dinner, so. That's that, and now we're just gonna cook dinner. Is this adulthood? I'm saying to my blog that it's Saturday night. It's 9.50. 
I was going to meet one of my friends out maybe tonight. My friend slash co-worker for her roommate's birthday. But I cooked dinner. Cleaned the whole kitchen up. Who is she? Read my book. Folded laundry. Well, Kr uh. Christian folded laundry. <laughs> like I'm saying we were clean. And now I'm like... I don't want to go anywhere, but I'm trying not to be lame. I feel like I, I'm being a homebody lately, so I'm trying to get out there, be social. But I'm feeling kind of lame. Should I text Morgan and be like, where is it? Where? What's the vibe? Imagine she tells me and I'm like, never mind. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Good morning. We're on our way to get a morning cup of joe. <laughs> That's so cringy. Are you saying something? Oh, I didn't know that uh, you were recording. Hello, world. How are we? I hit 112 subscribers yesterday. Ooh, 100K loading, right? Tell them, go. Like, comment, Ten. subscribe. <laughs> For real. This is so sad. He's like so New York looking, right? Good morning. That's <laughs> what she was doing before she hit record. Anyways, clearly I didn't go out last night or I would have vlogged it. This morning we went and got Starbucks. It's so bad, but I, I, I'm gonna order that thing off Amazon that makes your coffee cold to then You'll see, I'll start making it from home. I'll show you when I get it. Um, and then, so random, some nurse came over and drew his blood. It's not random. I have to get blood draws every month just to make sure things Every are, month or every three? Cool. No, it's like, like every month or two, I yeah. think. Yeah, so basically he forgot it was today, so the nurse had to come to my apartment instead of his. Just kind of give her the runaround. So now we're walking and we're... You're going home and I'm, no, yeah, you're going home. Yeah, I'm going home. And I'm going to hang out with my new friend, Melissa. I've hung out with her. This is gonna be the third time and we're becoming good friends. And we're going to this walking group called City Girls Who Walk. I'll link their Instagram below. And every Sunday they have walks around the city so you can go and obviously walk and like meet new people and stuff. So we're, we went once before and then she won that Instagram giveaway of free shoes. So we're going back and random. Normally it's in Central Park, but this week, oh my God, that trash felt so bad. Oh, it's on West Side Highway this week and it tells me to take the path to get there. So I'm basically almost going to New Jersey at this point, but that's my day. So I just got home from the walk thing. I'm so sweaty. My hair is a mess. I got home and I'm chugging this coconut water. Coconut water is my newest obsession. I got the Trader Joe's one. <sighs> Anyways, this angle on this lighting is so bad. I don't even want to talk right here. The lighting in my apartment is never good so here we are so basically i've been really wanting to put myself out there and make new friends i think i vlogged about that before and i just was really nervous trying to make new friends i mean at 25 there's like so many 25 year olds are similar in the city but like, i don't know just making friends as an adult seems like to be really hard but i think i vlogged about this last time like last vlog that i need to edit and post today i think i did Anyway, that I met a new friend, Melissa. Well, this was our third time hanging out today. And then ironically enough, on the subway, um, this homeless guy was like, not harassing me, but he was like bothering me. So this girl who was sitting across from me just started chatting with me, which was really nice of her. She, turns out she's 21, just moved here from California. And she was going to the walk, to the city girls who walk thing that I was. So we walked the whole way there. We walked with Melissa. We got breakfast wraps afterwards. Um, and then we just walked around a bunch. And then she lives in the Upper West Side. I'm like telling her life story, but she lives in the Upper West Side. So we rode the subway home together. I walked through the park and I just got home. And I was like, you know, like I really wanted new friends and to put myself out there. And it's happening so fast, which is so nice. Like we all just seem very similar. 
a lot of like similar interests and similar hobbies or just like I don't know I feel like it's at the awkward age where like some people still really like to party some people don't and I feel like I fall somewhere in the middle of that where I'm not always looking to go out every single weekend um so it'd be nice to have friends who I don't know want to stay in or do like other fun activities like you know what I'm saying so basically I'm just really happy that I pushed myself to go today and to meet new people because it's really working out in my favor and i'm just really really happy with that so if i ever tell them i have a youtube channel hi guys i'm talking about you i feel so gross and sweaty but i'm debating getting my book and reading it at the park i feel like that would just top it all off for a wellness weekend because i've had so many parties and so many things going on i really want to focus on having just a well wellness weekend no drinking no going out just because i needed rest my body was exhausted all week I just had back-to-back -back birthday parties and events and things going on all weekend i just want to have a chill one so i feel like that would top it off as a chill weekend but i don't really know because christian wanted to take some outfit photos later so we might go out and about more in like the evening to take outfit pics together so we'll see but yeah, I just had a really great day meeting new friends. And on the way home, I'll probably back up in the ugly angle. On the way home, I stopped to get an Olipop for Matter of Health. I got a Dr. Goodwin and a root beer, my faves. And this lady was doing taste tests there with this milk. It's called a Bam Nut. It's made out of bambara nuts i don't know but basically she did a sample of it and it tasted pretty good and then i was like i don't know you take a sample and you think that's it but then she said that um that the ones today like if i was to purchase one they'd reimburse me through venmo so i basically just got this carton of nut milk for free so i feel like sometimes people pass by the samples because they're like oh i don't want to get caught up in the whole sales pitch which that was me and i was just gonna exit after the sales pitch ended but then she said it was free so obviously i'm gonna get free milk um what else what else i feel like that's it for now i feel like i kind of want to shower and just lay in bed and read my book but i don't know because we were trying to find a comedy show to go to so i'm in charge of finding a comedy show so i might just lay here drinking my coconut milk no what my coconut water look up comedy shows to go. Fifty minutes ago, I was in my bed reading, and now I'm dressed, all ready to go out to dinner and a comedy show. We just took absolutely fire golden hour photos in Union Square. And now we're having um, a Whole Foods hot bar dinner. We got rice under there, chicken, sweet potatoes. We are splitting an egg roll, chicken. We got a whole big thing under here. And I got water. And he got this nasty drink. It's good as hell. Comment below if you're judging him for ordering an orange juice Listen, at 8 p.m. at night. She wanted me to get a lemonade. Like, what? It's 8 p.m. So what? What's wrong? I didn't know you could only drink orange juice in the morning. So to all my orange juice lovers, spam her account and be like, stop hating on orange juice because I don't know. She has no reason to not like orange juice. I do like orange juice at 8 p.m. at a comedy show. I got a Moscow mule. I got orange juice. Bye.